They have their differences, these black leaders and the president-elect. School busing the blacks feel should be available to the government as a tool to eliminate segregation. Reagan opposes busing. But he favors a dual minimum wage, one for adults, a lower wage for teenagers. The black leaders are against that. Reagan promised support for an extension of the Voting Rights Act. Everyone here agrees on that. But the president-elect wants the Voting Rights Act to apply to all 50 states, a move that could reduce its effectiveness. The black leaders wanted to hear Reagan commit himself to appointing a black to his cabinet. They did not. His response was that we should not, <clears throat> and I hope I'm quoting him uh, accurately, we should not keep score until the game is over. But it's Reagan's stand on states' rights, returning federal power to the states that seem to concern this group most. I think he is, uh, to a larger extent than I had supposed, out of touch with reality in terms of the black experience as it relates to states' rights. For the black experience, states' rights have been translated states' wrongs. The group interpreted Reagan's willingness to meet with them as a positive sign that should help ease apprehensions in the black community. Joe Benton, ABC News, Washington.